Hello, my name is Robert Dixon with the Avaya Professional Services team. This video is about Radius Switch user authentication when using identity engines. For this configuration example, we will enable Radius user authentication on ERS 4500-1. We will configure the identity engine server with two users, one called 4500RO with read-only access one called 4500RW with read-write access. First we will configure an outbound attribute on the ignition server for service type. Go to Site Configuration, Provisioning Outbound Attributes and click New. Type in a name for the attribute and click the Radius Attribute Radio button and select Service Type from the list. Click OK when done. Then click on Outbound Values and click New. Enter a name for your outbound value, for example ERS Read and click New. Choose the outbound attribute from the list called Service Type ERS we created earlier. Click on Sign 32 bit and enter a value of 7 which signifies read only access. Click OK. Select New and choose a name for the ERS read write access. Click New. Select Outbound Attribute Service Type ERS and unsigned 32-bit value 6 which signifies read-write access and click OK. We will add two new users in the internal store. Select Directories, Internal Store, Internal Users and click New. Enter a username such as 4500RO for read-only access. Give it a password and confirm the password again then click OK. Click New again and create our second user which is 4500RW Enter a password, confirm the password and click OK. Next we will create a new radius access policy. Give it a name ERS-Access and click on OK. Choose our newly created access policy and click on the Authentication Policy tab. Click on Edit. From the list of protocols, select Non, PAP and click on OK. In the Identity Routing tab, click on Edit and select Enable Default Directory Set and click OK. In the Authorization Policy tab, click on Edit. Click Add and give the new rule a name, Read-Only. Click OK. Add a new constraint for User, based on User-ID, equal to Static Value 4500RO and click OK. Change Action to be Allow and choose the outbound value from the list ERS Read and copy to the Provision With window. Click on Add and enter a name Read-Write as our second rule and click OK. Click New Constraint user and user-id equal to 
static value 4500 RW and click on OK. The action is allow. Select ERS right as the outbound value and copy to provision with window. Click on OK. Verify that the authenticator is using the access policy we just created. Highlight the authenticator and click Edit. Verify the settings are correct. This has been pre-built beforehand. Note that the access policy used by this authenticator is ERS-Access, which is the access policy with the rules to check for read-only and read-write access login. First we will test the read-only user access. Once logged into the CLI, type enable and question mark. Notice we have a limited number of commands and we cannot go into configuration mode. Then we will test the read-write access. We go straight into privilege mode of the command line. Question mark will now show more commands and we can go into configuration mode. We have read write access. Finally, in dashboard we can monitor the successful or failed login attempts. We can see we successfully logged in to the switch using both user types for read only and read write. Open the log viewer to access record details for each login attempt made for both user types. This can show the policy and authenticator used during login and any outbound provisioning for authenticated users. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.